there is just so much content about custom versus managed OS images. Are these OS wars ever going to end? No, man, thick images are faster. All the apps and configs are just baked right in. Yeah, until you have to update them every single month. Manage images just have so much less work for you to do. Yeah, but you're building those apps and configs into the VM every single time. It just takes longer. And in Azure Virtual Desktop, this gets even worse because you have to manage multiple host pools. And that means multiple thick images that you have to maintain and update, or you have multiple sets of applications that you've got to get deployed onto all of these pools. And both options really kind of stink. But what if you could have a way to deploy images really fast that had little to no maintenance at all? Like Tony Stark said, Is it too much to ask for both? Well, if you want both speed and flexibility, check this out. I'm building a custom image using a Microsoft Manage image with no app packaging, no custom image bloat, just adding one agent using a script and it does everything else to get it all installed, configured automatically in less time than it takes to have lunch. Wait, what? That's cheating. Nope, it's just working smarter. But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make you both happy. I'm gonna show you the custom and manage image ways to do all of this. And to start out, we're gonna need a few things. An Azure managed identity, a storage account with a blob container. And in that container, we're gonna need a few files. And I'll show you how to get all of those in just a second. And we'll also need a script so that we can automate the agent side of this whole process. Now we can get these files here in the recast portal. They sponsored this video to show off their agent bootstrapper and how we can finally solve this IT war. Go to manage at the top, and then in the automation section, go to deployments. Create a new one, and I'll just call it image. As for the assignments, we wanna search for all devices. Then on the package, you can select all of the apps that you wanna deploy into your image. But Recast actually does more than just manage apps and updates. You can also add packages to customize your system. Something like moving the taskbar or setting the desktop wallpaper, the lock screen image, hiding disk drives, and basically anything else that you can think of. And when you're done selecting everything you want as part of your bootstrap, then go back to manage at the top, and then at the bottom, go to device registration. Click create and select a new certificate, give it a name and use the cert for device registration. On the next tab, give the cert a common name and how many days the cert should be valid, along with whatever key size you want. Now go to the settings and download the certificate. Next, go to download.liquid.com, scroll to the bottom, and download this Windows agent and call it agent.exe. Then go back to the top and click the application Workspace Agent Bootstrapper. Download the Windows version and just leave the name as it is. Now the last file that we're going to need is over here in their docs. Just go to the production tab, then click this documentation link. And you really just need to piece all these different code segments together and create an agent.json file. And that'll tell everything how it's supposed to be configured for your environment. But don't worry about it. The folks at Recast will help you collect all these files and get everything configured specifically for you. Next, you wanna take all these files and we need to upload them to our blob storage container. And the last part we'll need is that script that'll execute all of this. Well, I've got an example file for that in my public GitHub, which is linked in the video description. Just copy the raw URL here because we're gonna need it later. Just be sure that you change the storage account name and container name before you try to use it. Here's how y'all can make a real custom image. Now, if you go into the AVD portal and go to custom image template. Hold on a second, Denny, we've got a problem. What? What's up? Security? Remember image templates use the Azure Image Builder service? Yeah, so AIB can only access online endpoints like GitHub by default. And while well, you're dealing with config files and certificates, so... So to keep AIB secure, just go to your storage account networking blade. This firewall has to allow all networks because AIB is gonna set up a brand new one when it does your image build. Then scroll down in the configuration section, you wanna disable anonymous access right there. Then go up to your recast blob container, click up here and make it private. Now it's so secure, nothing can talk to it. Now we're gonna use AIB's managed ID and give it access to the blobs. Now, if you don't know how to set up AIB properly, 
we've got a video that's pinned in the comment section so you can check that out later. Go up here to access control and then add a new role assignment. Search for blob data reader, click next and then select right over here for that managed ID and then pick the same one that you're using for image builder. Now just jump on over to the AVD portal and go to custom image templates, which is my favorite place, and then click create at the top. Give it a name, and then you wanna select from a existing template if you already got one of those. And if not, you know, don't worry about it, we'll fix all this. Just make sure you have the correct subscription and resource group and location and that manage ID. And on the next page, you can pick whatever image you wanna start with, and it can be one of your lovely custom images. And then for the distribution targets, you wanna use the Azure Compute Gallery. Just pick your image definition and create a new version. Then give it some kind of output name and pick your region and do not exclude from latest so that we can, you know, test it and stuff. And then click next. Then you've got all the details for the VM that we're gonna create here and automate your build and capture process. And the defaults are just good enough, so click next. Now this is where all the glorious customizations happen. You've got built-in scripts right over here and that's pretty much everything you could ever want for a VDI host. And you can just check all the boxes here for stuff. But at the bottom, make sure to check Windows Update so that way you don't have to run updates against your host in the future. But to add that bootstrap agent, you're gonna to need to add your own script. Just give it a name and then paste the script from that GitHub that you copied earlier. Then click Save. And on the next page, any and all self-respecting Azure experts is gonna add their tags and then y'all go ahead and click finish. Then once that's all done, you wanna check the image that you made right over here and click start build up at the top. And when it gets to that part of the customizations and runs your script, it's gonna download everything from that storage account that's super secure. And then it's gonna build it all right there into the image and bootstrap it with that application workspace bootstrapper and take care of all of your apps and all of your configs and everything else that you selected and you are done. And once your new custom image is ready, just go to an existing host pool and then click to add a new session host. Click next on the first page and fill out the second page for the VMs like you always would. Just remember to click right over here and then select your custom image. Complete the build like you always would. And when your users sign in, the recast packages are already gonna be there and everything's already configured and it just works. Yeah, that's good, I guess, but it still seems like a whole lot of work, which is why I prefer the managed image approach. And I've got the perfect way to combine it with recast. Now that means I'll still need this storage account and all of the files that you already created, but all I need to do is just go build my AVD hosts. And I'll select here the latest version of the Microsoft Manage image and just select all the other things that I always do. But down here at the bottom, I just need to drop in that GitHub script URL and then complete the build. And now during the build process, the host will download everything and get it all installed, bootstrapped and ready to go. And it doesn't stop there. I know some of you like to keep your pooled hosts around for a really long time, or you're using Windows 365 or personal host pools, where you can use recast there too. Just upload that GitHub script into the blob container with all the other files, and then go to one of your hosts. Scroll down in the blade here until you get to extensions and add a new one. We wanna search for the custom script extension, click next, and then click browse. Select your storage account, then your blob container, and then your script. Click next, and then create. The extension will run the script, download all the files, set up the bootstrap agent, install all of your apps for you, and you're done. So with Recast, there's no more reason to argue about custom versus managed images, and we can all live in peace. Right, guys? Yep, you're right, man. It looks awesome. Yep, I agree. Recast is an amazing solution. But with managed images, they were just done so much faster. What? What do you mean it takes so long to build? It was faster than yours. I can't believe it. You, you have so like much that. less to do. I, I can't see the truth. Well, at least they both agree that Recast makes it all easier. And you can check out Recast for yourself right over here. Or if you want to learn even more about your apps and images, check out this video. And happy learning.